Hello guys. In this uh, question, in this uh, video, I would try just to speak about something. Since we are always uh, in my videos, I always speak about swing trading or day trading. Sometimes position trading, but I didn't speak that much about investing. Okay, because most of the time I don't invest. Investing you must lock your your money for years and for me it's out of question that I lock my money uh, my capital in some uh, companies and they leave them okay it's out of question I don't want that so some people uh, try to uh, use my strategy or my book that I am selling right now some people thanks some people my subscribers they have bought it others who are outside uh, YouTube they bought it also and some people they told me I say okay read the book it's a very short book booklet you just read the strategy you know it very well you begin to practice either in virtual or with money and then you go back to me if you have any questions just ask okay either I put a video or you send me a private message you don't understand something you just ask I will follow and I will give you more detailed things about what you don't understand okay now uh, the question is are the fundamentals enough to invest in a company I'm telling you investing searching for companies is a very good idea but if the price doesn't move I advise you never buy a company wherever is the company even it is wherever even they they say that it is uh, the first company in the world or the United States or wherever is company if the price doesn't move if it stays in the range during 10 years 20 years 30 years don't buy it okay why because you you want to grow your money into two streams first is a capital gain it means each year you will see that your company that you buy is is gaining money okay gaining money what does it mean it means you buy it at 20 next year if it's 25 it's good the other year 25 is 35 it's good 35 to 50 or 40 or 55 this means that you are investing and that you are making money each year and this is the best investment you can do but you buy a company with 20 dollars this year you wait next year it's 15 dollars the other day the other year is 12 the other year is eight and you stay with the company you are losing money how can you stay too much and you are losing money it means you are you have suicidal thoughts I would say suicidal thoughts because you don't understand that you are giving your money to short sales because you know that short sales are professionals who go to any stock and they short it if it spends good it means they short it if a lot of people they begin to sell their shares you will see that stock is going down like a rocket it going down they damp it wherever is this company don't think about the company as earnings and the company is famous and the company and the guy I like the guy who runs this company the management they try to uh, you always watch maybe TV, TV shows, you read in the newspaper, you go to online, you see shots, and they say to you, oh, this company earnings is very good, it's growing up. Okay, if the earnings is going up, is the price is going up? Is the price following the earnings? If the price is going up, earnings is good. Okay, as I told you, you buy 20, next year 25, the other year is 35, the other year is 40, the other year is 50, 55 80 100 now you are making money with this company so you stay with this company 
You put stop loss always when you have each year. You have uh, you have a uh, such amount of money. You should put uh, stop loss higher and higher and higher. At, uh, at the ex for example, if, if 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 we have very bad years and the stock loss a lot, at least at least you don't waste you you don't waste your profit. It means you take some profit. You are waiting too much. One year, two years, ten years, fifteen years. You are waiting too much, so you should take some money from the company before you lose all the years that you invest and you lose some of the capital. Okay, a company that it is losing money, okay, each year, and you tell me, Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm investing because they told me that uh, earnings is good. Each year, the company rank is going better and better, they are making more stores. They are selling more. Okay, it's very good for the company. Okay, for the executive, they are getting millions of dollars uh, as a, as a salary. It's very good. Um, they are uh, have, hiring more people. It's very good for the company, but not for you. You, you are an investor. When you invest, don't neglect the price. Okay, don't neglect the price. The price is everything. Is the basic of everything for me I will never buy a stock that it is going down for many years I would never buy except if I see months that the price is showing signs of health it means the side the, the a lot of mutual fans maybe they are buying and they see the price is going up and up and up so I buy with this but most of the time I don't I don't invest so I don't use this technique uh, that much but uh, this is the answer of this question one of the guys say to me um, are the fundamentals enough to invest I say no the fundamentals of the company are not enough to invest if the company is good I should see the price is going better and better and better each year because most of the time the investors they invest for many years and some of the people they say oh okay uh, since the company is good the price will appreciate in the future how do you know okay it's a simple question how do you know that the company price will appreciate if each year I'm losing money okay why not I choose another company that I see the price is going up and up and up each year? Why I lose? Why I choose losers? Instead of, 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 of choosing winners, I choose losers and I stay with them. You don't marry a stock. Okay? This is very, very important. Never marry a stock except when it is your company. For example, it is your company. Uh, you are you have a company and you get listed in an exchange and th this is this is the time that you stick to your shares because because it's your company if you sell your, your shares to the public you lose your company okay this is for people who owns like who owns for the whole life like Warren Buffett he has some stocks he will never sell because these stocks are each year going up and up and up and they and he is making money from them but if he see that the stock is going down and down, he begin to lose money, he will dump it and he will choose another company. This is business. In the business, you should see numbers. If you don't know how to read numbers, you should not be into business investing or trading. If you don't know that uh, $20 next year, you lose $5 and the price is $15. If you don't know that you are losing money, Okay, it's not your place to invest because you will lose all your money, half of it, or a lot of, or a big percentage of this money, and and you say, oh, okay, the stock will go up. How do you know that the stock will go up, or this company, or sometimes a mutual friend is dumping a company. They buy a lot, and the stock from ten dollars it goes to one hundred dollars in two years or three years. And then in one year or two, this stock doesn't go up again. So this guy who is a manager of mutual fund, he dumped his shares and he sells everything he has. And when he sells, it's a big, big sales. 
So when it is big big sales, a lot of people will follow and will sell also. And here where we come, the short sellers. Here where the professional come and they see an opportunity to short sell this stock from 100 they bring it to $50 or to $40 or $30 or $10 or they bring it wherever they want to bring it. Okay? Short sellers are like hyena. You know, in the wild, uh, like in the wild um, uh, uh, lands in Africa, when we have this hyena, which they are like, they resemble like wolves or something, and they eat animals alive. This is our short sellers. They can eat you alive if you stay in a trade and they are short selling it and you stay too long, they will take all your money. Those people, they are professional. They are there to take your money, to short sell the stay. They don't think about the company, uh, Facebook or Twitter or uh, Google or wherever is the company. They don't think about this, about these companies. They think if the stock is going down, they short it. They make too much money, especially the big stocks, big or small, but most of the big stocks. If it is 100 and in one year it goes to $50, they, they make too much money from, from what they have, okay? So, as I told you before, this is the answer that, as I, as I know, that fundamentals alone will not bring you money, believe me. If you don't see the price moving up, you can use my strategy just to show you, to give you a signal when to buy and when to sell. Okay? Those who are, uh, who are buying my, uh, my strategy, uh, my way of trading, they can use it for, uh, for uh, investing. And I ask them what? Okay. Go and search for all the companies that you like. Okay? You want to invest in. Now, use my strategy to buy. You should wait until you find a signal when there is a resistance, when this resistance is, is broken and the price goes beyond that uh, resistance. At that time, you begin to invest. Okay? If later, one month or two, it goes to the resistance again and go down, sell. Don't stay in a, in a, in a company that you lose money. Never. This is not advice I give you. I would never, I, will, I repeat it a lot, but some people, they don't understand that uh, this battle, I, I just made a video about the battle between the buyers and short sellers. It's always like this. Okay? Short sellers, they don't care who are you or who is the company. They go to a stock, they short it. If it spends good and, and the price is going, uh, going good down, they sell more, they sell more, they sell more until there is no, there is no, not enough, no enough in trading. They just trade, they just short sell until they get too much profit. Okay? Now for searching what are the good stocks, you, you search better than me. Okay? I, for me, I don't invest, so I don't care about these companies. They say they are good, they are bad. For me, it's only the price. A company like Twitter, when I trade uh, the first day, I, I put a tra day trade, you, you, have, you have seen it maybe, $1,600 uh, in uh, 25 minutes. Twitter, I don't care if Twitter is, is making money or making earnings or it will be a big, uh, big company in the future or in the, in the past, or I don't care. What I care about is to make money from the company by buying and selling its stock. This is why I am here. I'm here to make money. I'm not here to like or love a company. If you want to love a company, love it. A company is not a human to love. Okay? It's not a woman that you are looking for to love and she loves you back and you make a, a good family. Okay? The people are there in the company, Facebook or Twitter or any other company, they are making millions of dollars each month or each year. Those guys, the co-founder, they are billionaires right now. So, what are you talking about? They are billionaires. And you, you are thinking that they love you. They don't love you. Okay? They are running their company. They are getting money. Okay? So, 
be always logical in matters of business you are doing a business you want to invest so what's my advice is always always think about the price okay think about the price is it going up or going down if you want to short it and the company is too bad and the and okay go and short it because the the price is going down it's okay but if you are going long to invest for long years many years if the price is stagnating it doesn't change take your money from this company buy another company that's going up and the price is going up this is my advice thank you very much for uh, for watching if you have any idea or question just ask thank you very much